Hey there, Parkway Manor. It's Mrs. Coons. I sure miss you all. I'm going to read for you today the book A Day With No Crayons. And this is written by Elizabeth Rush, illustrated by Chad Cameron. A Day With No Crayons. Liza loved her crayons. She treasured turquoise adored apricot, and flipped over fuchsia. In fact, coloring made Liza feel tickle me pink. Every day, Liza filled her coloring books with aquamarine oceans, royal purple plums, and screaming green dragons. She papered the walls of her room, the hallway, and the bathroom with the bright, neat pages. Then one day, Liza ran out of paper. Her coloring books were all full, and there wasn't a single sheet of blank paper left. Liza paced her room, unsure of what to do, until she discovered right in front of her one blank wall. Uh-oh. What on earth are you doing, her mother cried. Coloring, said Liza. Coloring your balls, her mother exclaimed. She snatched up Liza's crayon bucket. No more crayons for you today. No crayons, Liza cried. A whole day with no crayons? Liza shuffled to the bathroom feeling blue. Midnight blue, in fact. A day with no crayons, she grumbled. She gripped her toothpaste crossly, squirting a blue-green streak across the sink. Now look at that mess I've made. She mumbled, smearing it towards the drain. Later, Liza trudged to the park and smacked her foot in a puddle. A day with no crayons is as brown as mud, she mourned, stomping around the basketball court. Finally, Liza slumped to the ground and brushed her grass-stained knees. The green wouldn't come off. Liza leaned forward for a closer look. Hmm, she thought. That's spring green and jungle green mixed. Liza rolled over and found herself eye to eye with a lovely flower. Why, that color's not bluebell at all, she said. It's more like cornflower. Liza yanked a nearby dandelion and crushed it in her fist. When she opened her palm, it glowed. And this isn't dandelion yellow, she laughed. It's more like laser lemon. Liza jumped up. It's even lovelier than laser lemon. Liza mashed dazzling yellow dandelions onto her cuffs. She squashed deep purple blackberries onto her pockets and rubbed brilliant orange tiger lilies down both legs. Running through the park in her rainbow pants, Liza suddenly saw color everywhere. She dragged a muddy stick across the park, sketching a chocolate brown tree trunk with long stretching branches. She pressed leaves of meadow green, sea green, and forest green in the mud and squished them onto her tree until it shimmered. She gathered flower petals and fashioned birds that flew with her across the park. As Liza left the park, she scraped an old red brick along the sidewalk, drawing a desert, some camels, and then a whole caravan. Near her house, Liza gathered gray-blue pebbles and laid them side by side until an ocean swelled. Up the front porch steps, Liza gathered dandelions and rhododendron petals until a sunset glowed. That night, Liza crawled in bed, arranging her pillows around her. Outrageous orchid, she thought. Magic maze. Wonder melon. Her mother walked into the room holding Liza's crayons. You can have your crayons back, her mother said, kissing her on the head if you promise not to color on the walls. Liza eyed the crayons her mother held out to her. She smoothed the blankets on her bed and considered the coloring books spread out on the floor around her. Hmm, she said, 
I think I can go one more day with no crayons. The end. So Parkway Manor, some of you may have crayons, some of you may be going days and days with no crayons, but there's art all around you and I hope you're staying creative. I miss you so much and I can't wait to see some of the amazing things you're able to create with or without crayons. See you later.